had a really good week. So um, I have a bit of vertigo today. I um, I woke up with it about three o'clock this morning, so I'm a little bit dizzy and a little bit um, lightheaded. So please bear with me if I go a little bit disorientated during this reading. Um, I spoke to the doctors; they're going to do me some vertigo tablets, but just ugh, it's horrible. Woke up this morning and I had to kind of put my head on the side and try and turn it. Um, so yeah. Just bear with me, essentially. Right, we're gonna do what are their intentions today. So we've got deck number one and deck number two. We've got more kind of light-hearted decks for today's reading. The energy needs to be lifted a little bit around you guys. It's been very heavy with the eclipse and the new moon. So uh, really bringing that fresh energy into your reading today. So deck number one, deck number two, go to the deck that you are most drawn to. Once you get drawn to that deck, I really want you to feel that heart-centered energy for your person going into the deck. Okay, so push the energy in. If you can't push it in, just visualize a color uh, of pink or green that goes into the deck. And what that will do is it's gonna put the mutual energy between you all into the reading, okay? So deck number one, let's do this. What are their intentions for you? What are their intentions of deck number one? Yeah, really spaced out, like, you know, out the corner of your eyes when everything's still really spinny. Right, think about your person for me, my angels, deck number one's people. So we're getting to the mutual energy of them. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one as well. So two more. My guide is saying two more. Dois. Okay, let's do this. So, are we ready? What are their pupils? intentions towards deck number one my people of deck number one we're off to a good start with the ten of cups the three of cups what are their intentions towards deck number one tower <laughs> tower and devil seven of wands king of wands and the page of wands lots of wands energy coming up okay so let's talk this through about you and your person and what their intentions are your person sees you in a very sexual passionate beautiful light and they are really really drawn into your energy now with the devil card and the tower card coming up over here this is suggesting that something has either happened or is about to happen between you both where the kind of a bit like my a bit like my my vertigo today you're going to be thrown a little bit off balance the relationship has either already been off balance or it is about to be thrown off balance but what comes from this off balance this this changing of the energies is a more positive outcome heading towards you so it could be that your person might have took you for granted a little bit that you haven't really known where you stand with them you're not really sure what's going on what pathway you should be going is this something that you should be progressing with or is this something that you step away from now this Tower energy very much coming towards the end of this year. So like I said, if it hasn't happened yet, it's probably going to happen within the next month. It's not a thing to be worrying about. It's not a thing to be stressing about, even though it's going to happen and if this tower is going to hit, the energy that comes afterwards is a much more positive energy. So this tower has to hit you guys for them to realise what it is that they want and for you to realise what you want. With the devil energy coming forward over here, often seen as the darker side of the lovers, um, this card really symbolises the connection that the two of you share, the bonds that the two of you share. Sometimes a little bit of codependency can be coming forward here. Um, a little bit of toxicity but it's also this addiction energy happening between you both so if your person has vanished into the sunset and they're like right I'm going I will see you sometime soon it's not going to last they are going to get that draw back to you Um, I just saw the red string and I know we spoke before about the Japanese red string string of destiny i think it's called um where the person will keep coming back to you as well as that we have this dna helix with the more advanced um spiritual connections that you guys are all in so you can wave it in and out of each other's life so if you and your person are not in contact this is the tower is going to be their return 
if you are in contact and it's gone a little bit peak tongue, this tower is going to be leading to more positive solutions. And if it hasn't happened yet, um, this addiction energy, this devil energy coming forward is still going to bring you back together. So the tower is actually going to work out in your favour. So you don't need to have the fear of God put into you. It's more of a positive than it is a negative. The relationship has been very unbalanced, very unstable. Could be your person. You feel like you've been messaging your person all the time or you haven't been getting the responses that you need from your person. So when this tower hits, the impact of it is going to rebalance the energy out between you both. And that is what you want. That is what you want. Now, with the fire energy coming forward over here with these three fire cards at the bottom with the ones energy, uh, potential over here for quite maybe arguments, maybe tension going on between you both. You your person could be a little bit on guard with the connection and especially if this tower hits they might say some flippant comments that you don't want to hear that they're saying stuff to deliberately hurt you to push you away a little bit and the reason they'll be doing that is because their emotions for you are are real um, but they don't often know how to handle them sometimes your person can be a little bit jealous of you and your situation as well and how you perceive things how you get on with your life how you've worked very hard to be the person you are today and your person can sometimes feel this jealousy that comes from that okay so their intentions for you really at this moment of time um it's got to be this balancing this rebalancing in the relationship so right now their intentions are kind of a bit here a bit there a little bit blase a little bit i'm not giving you much of what you want um just waiting to see what happens let's go with the flow of it let's ride it out this tower moment is going to hit imminently if like i said if it hasn't done already and when that happens um fireworks potentially hurricane tornado situation a few arguments um but what will ha happen from this is your person is going to make these stronger movements towards you um now with the ten of cups and the three of cups over here this is indicating the ten um ending of a cycle and a beginning of new one so where you guys have been trapped in this this kind of energy of not moving forward perhaps the devil energy coming forward here you haven't been able to move the situation forward that is now going to shift and it is going to change but this tower has got to happen for this to to take the next steps the tower is really gonna destroy everything or, or break down everything that has been there the past structures that you guys have been involved in and it's going to be rebuilt into your favor with the three of cups and the ten of cups over here your person has got emotions for you they have got love for you and they are going to start communicating that love towards you more than what they have done as of yet so even though the tower is this negative um card as such i always quite like the tower because it means that stuff is happening and it's going to be shifting and it's going to be moving even though things have to break down around you they can be re rebuilt in the direction you want them to and when they rebuild this is when your person is going to be offering you their um their heart they're going to be offering you their heart they're going to be stepping away from this sexual energy this passionate energy and they're going to be stepping more into the emotional energy and expressing to you how they feel about you it's possible that they haven't as of yet said to you oh i feel like this and i feel like that i feel amazed uh, i feel like i want to spend every waking day with you they've had this kind of block up and not allowed you into their heart when this tower hits this is when this movement is coming forward. Now with your page of wands over here, this is messages coming forward with offers. So this being mixed up with your three of cups and your 10 of cups, stepping away from the passionate energy and stepping more into the heart centered energy. So that's a positive, a really strong positive. They are still gonna be the same person that they have been up to date. Please don't expect a personality transplant with them, okay? They are still going to be the same person, but the love for you is there and it is going to really come up to the surface, very strongly stepping forward into their heart-centered energy. Um, I'm hearing a song about whispers. Um, they're going to be whispering sweet nothing, spirit are saying, into your ears, kind of giving you that, that push for this relationship to go a little bit further forward. They're really going to be expressing their love for you. OK, now, if they don't do it with words, please do pay attention to their actions because their actions are going to start being upped as well. What the tower moment is for you all is all going to be very variant on your situation. It could be big T towers. It could be little T towers. It's going to be depending on where you and your person are at that point in time. So it could be arguments. It could be um, behavior, things going a little bit awry, spirit is saying. But when that big T, little T tower hits, this is when they're going to have that wake up call and that reality check on this is what they want. Their emotions for you are really going to be a lot 
more up to the surface and they're going to be expressing that to you. The jealousy over here that they have, um, this is potentially going to come forward as well. If they're feeling a little bit on edge, Spirit is saying they're going to be a bit spiky, okay? Um, I just saw a rose with the thorn sticking out. Like, they're going to be a little bit spiky. Um, you might feel that, you know, you're trying to get them to communicate about where you guys are, what's going on. And again, they might say flippant comments. They might be a little bit on edge, not letting you get too close. But again, that tower hitting is going to bring their intentions towards the surface for you so what they want from the situation at the moment like i said they're kind of just drifting along they're going with the flow of it they're not planning too much they're seeing what happens tower big t little t tower gonna hit when that big t little t tower hits this is when they are gonna have you're gonna have a very strong resurgence of the connection and they're gonna open up to you about the love that you guys share and they're gonna open up to you about their emotions they're gonna step out the fire energy they're gonna step more into the cups energy okay the water energy so going from um, the passionate side of things into the emotional side of things and what will happen with that is kind of coming back to those cards of balance right at the start your energies with your person is going to realign it's going to rebalance and the scales are going to tip okay and when the scales tip this is going to turn more into your favor we still have this devil energy coming forward. Like I said, sometimes this can be the toxicity, uh, the dependency, the addiction side of things. I'm a big lover of the devil card. Um, it's one of my favourite cards because I just find the energy so powerful um, and strong. Even though, you know, people always say it's got this negative connotation, the, the powerful energy behind it shows the power of the connection that you two share. So this power connection here, your person isn't going to break away for long. Even if you're in no contact, they will keep coming back towards you. They can't break out of this devil energy. You know, it's still there. That power, power energy is there. And when you guys make it work, you're going to be like the most insane power couple. But up until that point, this devil energy is just kind of lingering in the background. The toxicity that kind of comes from that is what could lead to these tower moments happening with you guys. But when that goes forward, you have this ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one. But it's a positive because it is the cups energy. So very strong cups energy here, very strong new beginnings happening between you both. Um, there's also this support mechanism coming forward here that you will be leaning on one another uh, for the love that you two share and for the support that you two share as well. So keeping balanced, as you can see, the herons, I think, are on one feet. Keeping the relationship more balanced. Um, three of cups over here, your celebration. Getting off the merry-go-round and messages coming forward towards you based on the passionate energies you share. But the, the scales are tipping from sex and passion to love. Um, but it has to go through the rocky period first for that to happen. Okay. So at the moment, intentions, just going with the flow of it. As the future hits, intentions of love coming forward with much more romantic offerings much more um much more romantic offerings yeah there's no other way to say it they're going to be feeling a lot more in tune with you and a more a lot more loved up and making this connection work stepping from that fire energy into that water energy Okay, guys, and that is deck number one. Thank you for bearing with me as the world is spinning around me a little bit and I'm looking a little bit drained. Um, thank you so much for bearing with me. Uh, I love you all to pieces. Uh, turnaround time on video readings. Um, I'm still going to be doing email readings over Christmas, Christmas, which is 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Um, video readings, I'm taking bookings for January now, I'm fully booked up till January, um, so if you need me um, and you want to book in for them, now is probably a good time to do it before January hits, because December and January as a psychic reader are probably the busiest times of year, as well as Sarwain, um, they are probably our busiest times of year, so if you want me, uh, now is a good time to book. I will speak to you all soon, uh, I am spend sending tons of love to you all, uh, stay safe guys, goddess blessings. Okay, guys, deck number two, what are their intentions towards you? Now, I just said, if you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, um, I've got vertigo today, so I am a little bit not really, well, I'm here, but my world is a little bit spinny, so just bear with me for this reading um, if I seem a bit floaty or a little bit not quite all here. Think about your person for me. Uh, so we're just going to draw on the mutual energy between you all and find out what your person's intentions are towards you. Remember, this is a collective reading. So if you need me for a personal reading, just give me a shout. I do email readings, uh, which are 24 to 48 hours return. My 
wait list for video readings is up at the moment because it's Christmas. Christmas is coming and we're going to go see the family. Finally, hopefully, the government might be changing it this week, but hopefully we're going to go see the family. Okay, so let's have a look at what your person's intentions are. What are your person's intentions towards you guys? Let's flip these around. I'm not reading the reversals. What is your person's intentions towards you? Three. Four. Five. My goodness, guys, you've got a lot of court cards coming forward. Six. I feel like we need eight. Oh, we've got, we've got seven. Oh my God, I'm so bad. I really can't see straight today. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm really bad at maths. I'm really, really bad at maths. I still have to use my fingers to add sums together. Okay, so your person's intentions towards you. You might have found that your person had been a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards, a little bit hot, a little bit cold, a little bit giving you some, a little bit taking away. That's where your person's energy has been. Now, it's really interesting over here that we kind of have this need for immediate action and we also have a lot of court cards. So there are, could be potentially people influencing this situation. We've got four court cards. We've got eight cards. Four of them are court cards. So there are other people that could be influencing the situation. Um, if it's not other people, it could be situations going on around your person. So we have the Knight of Swords, we have the King of Cups, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. The one that we are missing, we're not missing one, we have all four energies coming here, the earth, air, the fire and the water. So there is a kind of a balance going on in your relationship with your person as your energies are aligning together. So we have an influence of other people, potentially third parties, or if not third parties, other situations, could be friends, could be family, could be difficult situations going on around you all. And um, other than that, it could be the support mechanisms that your person and you are turning to if you are talking to other people about the situation. So people influencing it, but there is an alignment in your energies. So the way that the cards have worked, pulling out these four elements, the swords, the cups, the wands and the pentacles, just shows that your guy, you and your person's energy are kind of merging together with or without the influence of other people. There is this need for immediate action coming forward with your person. And as this need for immediate action comes towards you, we also have the Ace of Cups. So your person wants to make moves towards you based on love and say to you, let's have a new beginning. Let's make this work. And they're really looking towards this cups energy with this sense of urgency. Okay, now Spirit just said that this could happen in a couple of weeks for you both. Um, that is where your collective timing is on it. If you want to look at individual timings, give me a shout. But Spirit very clearly saying in a few weeks, this movement towards you based on heart-centered energy, saying to you, okay, let's make this work. Let's have a new beginning. Now let's look at that with the King of Cups energy as well. Also looking towards the Ace of Cups. So whichever way you guys are looking at and your person is looking at it, they are seeing... They're looking towards you. They're looking towards the love you share and having this new emotional beginning with you. A lot more romantic than perhaps they have been in the past. Like they said, like we said, they've been a little bit here, they've been a little bit there. Nothing really, you might feel that nothing has really been progressing with you guys, but now there is a shift in this energy. With your King of Wands and your Queen of Pentacles over here. You guys have been trying to focus very much on the present moment. You're feeling a lot more stable, a lot more secure over this. Your person potentially has been a little bit more sexual than emotional, but there is this flipping of the energy. There's a change in energy and it's happening now. So your person is very much focused. Their intentions is focusing on you two being together and having a future. How cool is that? Now, the reason why they might have been a bit backwards and forwards with you, we've got the Nine of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. They've been trying to work through their head about what it is that they want. They've been a little bit engulfed in fears, Spirit is saying over here. They've, they've kind of been kept awake at night. Wouldn't be surprised if they've had a lot of stuff from their past really coming up to haunt them, trying to work through the darker energies, the shadow sides of things that has limited them in their potential. 
and made them a little bit scared of the connection between the two of you. So they've been working through that potentially since the summer, if it's gone a little bit peak tongue or a little bit here and there since the summer, this is where the energy has been. Okay, so really kind of stepping forward from that fear based energy, working it through, realizing that there's no need to be afraid, scared of being in love again, scared of giving their heart away and getting hurt. So they've been working through that and now they are stepping themselves forward. I just got in the summertime when the weather is, when the summertime, when the weather is fine. So come summer, even though there's a shift in the energy now, come the summertime, there's a major kind of coming together of you guys, your Ace of Cups. So if you're not together yet, come the summer as your collective energy, looking really positive for your relationship to be progressing. I just saw a mosaic. Um, so the mosaic is like the jigsaw pieces. I don't know if you ever saw the Roman uh, mosaics that they used to do in, in the beautiful houses or the little parts that people put into uh, they put in together to make this bigger picture. Your guys, I saw your mosaic and it's getting quite full now. So the, the pieces of your puzzle are really starting to come together really starting to shift together. The overall image of the mosaic that Spirit are showing me, the clairvoyant image, is two people holding the cup that they share, which is the love that you guys share. So intention-wise, they want to be with you. They want this relationship to work. They have a lot of love. They've worked through these darker nights of the soul or are currently working through them. And that is when you have this beautiful energy coming forward of immediate action and the love that you share bringing it towards you the last card that you've got is your four of wands your celebration your happiness your coming together your family engagements weddings parties um christmas major turnaround for you guys as spirit said in the next couple of weeks big shifts happening with deck number two um, and these shifts are very much focused on heart-centered energy they really are going to step out of this fear energy and move towards this future energy with you these new beginnings so where you are at the moment shifting in the next couple of weeks and come summer it looks like the two of you are going to be involved in a much more positive relationship okay where your energies were a little bit misaligned before where you wanted the future and they were just kind of like oh well you know let's see what happens um i'm just gonna be a little bit sexual a little bit of a um I was going to swear that I try really hard not to swear on YouTube. My mum always says I have potty mouth, but I try really hard not to swear on YouTube where they've been a bit of an idiot. OK, where they've been a bit of an idiot. This is pulling towards you together. Is there a trigger for this? No, there isn't a trigger. This is literally where your energies are going. Um, nothing is going to cause this other than the fact that they are having this realisation that you are the one that they want to be with. You are the one that they want to spend the, the rest of their life with, Spirit is saying. So just working through the crappy bits, where they've worked through those crappy bits, it hasn't been a, dim a, a massive realisation, it's just been a stepping away from fear. And as they've stepped away from fear, this is when that love can come towards you. So your person's intentions are to be with you. They can see marriage, they can see weddings, they can see kids, they can see proposals, they can see families contributing. Um, they can see all of that. They can see you guys have got a beautiful, bright future and they are now taking those steps in making that future work between you both so really really positive really positive deck number two very very beautiful reading going on here your ace of cups your four of wands your love is really strong and it's growing it grows by the day um i just got i knew i loved you before i met you by savage garden they have got this very strong love for you and it's coming forward so no matter where your situations have been this love resides spirit is saying this love is at the forefront and that is deck number two. They want to be with you. They love you. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So if you need me, just give me a shout. Uh, visit the website. Drop me an email, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Website is www.mysticlovetarot.com. Thank you for bearing with me with my dizziness. I don't know if you guys noticed the difference, but I definitely can see a difference with my world spinning a little bit around. Um, so thank you for bearing with me with that. Um, I am sending you tons of love. I will speak to you soon. Next reading, I think, is Christmas Eve because it's the Thursday. So I think it's Christmas Eve. So we will get it out for you then. If you guys have any ideas on Christmas themes that you want, just give me a shout. Okay, guys, tons of love to you. Um, look after yourselves. God has blessings to you all. Speak to you soon. Ciao.